That we've seen PTSD sort of explored in film before. How did you go about trying to understand what that would would that feel like and what these people are going through? <clears throat> well, uh, I mean, both my grandfathers were soldiers. My father uh, was in the army as well. I have a lot of friends. I mean, look, this is like the fifth film I've done where I've had to play a soldier now. So I've, I've met a lot of people, military supervisors and other soldiers um, along the way that I've, I've stayed in touch with and connected to and I just kind of drew from them. Just quickly, I mean, when you put, I think Jason was just saying to us before that if you put two babies in a room, they'll make friends because they don't even, they don't understand that they're different colours. You know, is that kind of understand the kind of relationship that your character and Ronsell go through in this movie? Yeah, I think, I, I mean, you know, when you're sharing a, a trauma and similar sort of um, uh, tragedies in your life, it it brings you together. I mean, it's magnetic and no matter the race you end up becoming brothers uh, because and in this particular situation because my character was um, it's just it you know uh, my character really didn't see uh, any sort of racial divide he had a he had his own shit going on so experience film fantastic I, th I might go down in the books and say it was my favorite experience of all time yeah. The most uh, unpredictably amazing cast put together, D's a genius, and I think in about, you know, I think down the road in my life and career, everybody's going to say, what was it like to work with D. Reese? I hear that there's Oscar buzz about Well, you know, he, 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 <laughs> believe it when you see it, I guess. How's Tip been for you? It's been fantastic. It's, it's been since 2012 that I've been in Toronto. Mm -hmm. We last came here for On the Road, and it's wonderful to come here for something that you're very proud of. And it's that's the best part of this. Yeah. And you enjoyed the cast? <laughs> I, wanna, I, I, I don't want to part. I don't want to part ways. And it was a quick shoot. It was five weeks, maybe like a week worth of rehearsals. Um, it was, um, I, when we all saw the film for the first time in Sundance. Dee didn't let anybody see it beforehand, which now I find is genius because we all sat through it. Nobody got to like sit there by themselves watching it with like a link on their you know, laptop somewhere in the middle of somewhere and wondering what somebody else would think if somebody saw this scene or that scene. So we all saw it there, and it was a wonderful reception, and it was fantastic. What was your first initial experience? Hi, hi. Ah, there she go. Are we all being rushed in or something? You are. Mary, not even here yet. Oh well, we're gonna walk in and. Hey, you got time. You got time. <laughs> What's that? I said you got time. You got time. Cool. Now you mentioned you guys all watched the film together. What kind of emotions were going through you? And the castmates as you were sitting there. I think it was more because everybody came up and like put their blood, sweat, and tears on the screen, like from the short time that we did have. And so seeing it in in Sundance and having like the standing ovation that we had was really like a stamp of approval of, of what we went through in that in that period. I mean, some scenes that we filmed would were enough to like put some people through therapy uh, that were involved, and and it was it was nice to see what we saw. Now what is the key to telling this particular story as honest as possible? D. Reese. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey!